Welcome back to Our Vision Farm. We have a couple projects to do today on the farm. The first thing we're gonna do is get these animals fed. They have not gotten fed this morning quite yet. So we're gonna feed all the animals and give them water. Usually for feeding the animals in the morning, we split up. Um, my son does the animals in the back. Mariah does her silkies and the turkeys that are right next door. And then I do the animals in the front. But today I have to move the chickens, so I'm gonna have Jaden help me. Plus I have the sheep in the back. They're loose in the back. And Jaden usually has a little bit of trouble um, opening up like the food shed and stuff while the sheep are loose. So I'm gonna help him out with that. So right now, um, here I need you to open this. We have some banana peels to throw into the compost pile. And then I have, um, just stick these somewhere in the ground, maybe in one of these boxes. They're just little potato, um, the little, what is that called? The buds that come out of the potato skins. I cut a couple of those out, so we're gonna plant those and see what happens. Just stick them into here. This is one of the projects I have to finish today. I started cleaning this garden yesterday, but I didn't finish. So we got a lot of weeding to do back here. All of this needs to be pulled up. This is our little compost bin. So I'm just gonna throw these banana peels in here. We even have some type of squash or zucchini growing in our compost bin. So let's get started with the day. Uh, the sheep are in the back because yesterday Cookie, one of the sheeps, pushed out from under the fence that we built them up here. Bring some chicken food. Um, bring some chicken food for the turkeys. I think the chickens already have food. We'll bring a little bit for the turkeys. So Cookie got out of the fence. She pushed out under. It was time to move this fence anyway. Two days had gone by. They ate all the grass in here. So we went ahead and just put them in the backyard temporarily until we're going to move this fence to a different spot. So you can see they ate all this grass, but she had popped out the zip ties and pushed out from under here. Somehow, only she did it and not the other sheep. So, but this was already eaten down anyway. It was time to move them. So that's another project we're going to do today. Just take down this fence, which is as easy as popping the zip ties, wiggling out the T-post, putting everything to the side. I'm going to figure out where I want to put it next, somewhere over here. But I need my husband's help to put in the T-posts because some of these T-posts are really high and I can't pound them in with the post pounder. Only he could do that. Like I can do the short T-posts but we have a lot of tall T-posts. So I'm going to need his help but what we can do in the meantime is put everything where it's going to go so that it's ready to just put up and go and then bring the sheet back in here. And that is no problem. We get that done really fast. We're due for a grass cut. So Mariah, you can feed the turkeys a little bit of food. Jaden is topping off their water because it's a little bit dirty. Oh, actually, I'll do the water. Why do you pour it all on top of them? Alright Jaden, just let this water overflow until it cleans itself out. I'm going to go check up on the chickens. All right, chickens, they actually ate all their food. They didn't have crumble food at the store last, so we had to buy them pellet food, and they seem to not like the pellet food that much, or it takes them longer to eat, which I guess is a good thing. So I'm gonna take all of these containers out because it's time to move them. You can see they ate all this grass. So we're going to need a little bit of chicken food in here. Don't fill it up all the way because we're running out of food. Just put some more. Just put whatever you can, but we still have to save food for the other ones. So we're going to move these chickens and I just use Jaden's help. There's some eggs I got to collect in here. Jaden's help. I go on one side of the pen. He goes on the other. And we just slightly lift it off the ground. And move it to a fresh new spot of grass. Let me get this egg. I think these, oop, I think these are all from this chicken. Although I have to keep track because I don't know when these other hens are gonna start laying. And then another thing I want to do is test the the solar-powered electric netting. 
that has charged for long enough at this point so we're gonna see today if it works for holding our pig boba in it hopefully it works because if not then that means there's something else completely wrong with the fence and that fence was very expensive and we barely used it so that would be unfortunate if something else is wrong with it that we don't know although um, something happened yesterday that was kind of funny boba the pig she she's inside the patio right now she got into the turkey pen she fits into these big squares of the turkey pen and then from the turkey pen she went into here where the sheep were and the sheep kept headbutting her and chasing her and poor boba she could not figure out how to get out of here so apparently she can't fit through these squares like she tried and tried and she just could not fit she would get stuck like around her neck area so that may, gave me an idea that if our electric fence doesn't work we can build her a little temporary pen with this type of fence because she fits through the hog panels she jumps right through these big squares but these are too small for her to jump through so that might be something that we can do we have extra t posts and poles that we can use and we have extra of this fencing we gotta get those turkey eggs too try to get that one that's over there so we probably can just build the pig a temporary pen somewhere in a nice shaded spot with this fencing since we have extra of this laying around in the back anyway if our electric net doesn't work or it might be a better option period just because it's a little more sturdy and less flimsy than the electric netting so they're getting these turkey eggs you guys can put them on the shelf over there and then we're gonna get these chickens moved so that's the three main things we're doing today getting that garden cleaned out not sure if we'll get to actually plant anything in it today but we're gonna get it cleaned out I want to get this fence removed out of here and we're gonna test out the electric netting on Boba the pig Jaden has to feed his birds and see if they need any water so he usually does this on his own as well after he finishes with the animals in the back. Pretty easy just giving them some food in their little two containers and checking up on their water level. Looks like they both still have water. So they got two little things of food. They broke their other basket um, that we were putting the food on. So did you feed your silkies? They had water? I didn't feed them. Okay. Now we're gonna do the silkies and the baby turkeys that are right next to the silkies. All the animals are watered and fed up in the front yard. Now it's time to do the back. The sheep that are out loose eating grass, they're not getting fed today. They're going to make a big fuss about it, but we're going to feed the male sheep and the pigs. We're going to top off all the waters. Here they come. Here they come. You guys better eat this grass that's growing here. You guys look pretty fat. 
Ah. Alright, so we keep their food in here. I gave them a little bit just to keep them out the way. Jaden is getting the pigs fed over there. Right now we just have Bubba the pink pig and Peanut. And then we have our lonely ram back here. We gotta get the other food dish. The pigs destroyed that one food dish. Why did you just completely switch bowls? I don't know, they play ring around the bowl. <laughs> they switch bowls and switch bowls. It's the same amount of food in both bowls, but they try to be greedy. How come they never grow horns? I don't know. It's not the type that grows horns. And then we just give a little pile of feed to the male sheep. And then that's it for back here. It's pretty easy. When we don't have, like when we have the sheep inside of their pen and we're not letting them out, they do get fed too. But right now we're just letting them be on grass only. And then the ram gets some of the food. Since he doesn't really have any grass to eat here. So he does get fed twice a day. Alright, I just got it on. Don't touch her with the hammer. She hasn't brushed up against it yet. I just put her in there and turned it on sounds like it's clicking so oh. the solar power is on let's see if it's oh she's just chewing on it though it's it. definitely not working obviously it's not oh working. my god it's like resting on her gonna get out Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with our fence. It's not popping her at all. All right, so I'm gonna say this is not working. My husband has a little thingy that tests the electric. Can you put her back in the patio? Um, he has a thing that tests the power on it, but it ran out of batteries. So we're just gonna have to troubleshoot it and figure out what's wrong with it. But our plan B is building her a fence with the, the fencing that I told you guys about. She seems like she can't get out of that, so we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure she puts enough force onto those squares of the field fencing. She can stretch it out and get out. But maybe it'll work for a little bit, at least for the daytime, so she could be out here in the daytime. This is easy to take down. I got these little wire cutters. don't really need wire cutters. I could probably just use scissors. Jaden's using a hammer to just pop the zip ties out. So all there really is to it is clipping the zip ties. When we were using the Dollar General zip ties, you could literally pop those out with your hands. They were so weak. So we're gonna pop all the zip ties off. That will loosen the fence from the T-post. And then one by one, we'll wiggle each T-post out. We don't dig these T-posts too deeply in there because we know we are removing them. So, pretty easy peasy. Took them two days to eat all this before they started wandering on how to get out. But we need to put the T posts way closer to each other because what they did was they found a, an area where the two T posts weren't that close. So the fence had a lot of give to it. So when they push down, you can see this is a good example of how far they eat past the fence. So they stick their necks through the fence and eat about two feet out. You can see it all along here. So in doing that, they stretched out the fence enough 
for one sheep to figure out how to slip out. All right, let me get all these done. All right, we removed all the fence and the T-posts. So you can see how short the grass is in this area. Uh, we piled up all the T-posts that we have right here. And the pieces of fence are way too long, so I'm going to have to wait till my husband comes home to drag the other piece. But we got this one over here. I'm thinking this is going to be our next spot, but I want to keep them away from the, the water tank. So... But I want to use the chain link fence that you see on that side. We're going to move these hoop houses out the way. I want to make another one weaker area. Like last time we put them in a nice big area and it lasted them a week. That's my goal for this time again. So we don't have to keep moving it as often. So my plan is to utilize the chain link fence on this side as one of the walls. And they can have this long strip kind of like where the two hoop houses are have a nice long strip and see how far out we can take it I guess starting from around where this hoop house is we could build it off of that chain link go straight across and then make probably a triangle that way and then they'll have shade from the oak trees and then they'll be close to the water source and lots of thick grass and long grass to eat so we'll see where the fence gets um, once we actually start doing that, but for now they're in the back enjoying all the grass. I'm trying to look for my little scissors I was using to snip the zip ties. I seem to have lost them and we need those. So we're going to find those and then we're going to take a little break before we get to the garden work because it is hot and I am thirsty. So we're going to just take a break. Where's those scissors or wire cutters? So once we find those, that's what we're going to do. Take a break and then come back out once we are refreshed again. There's another tea post we missed right here. Put that one in the pile. Jaden. Oh, there they are. Right next to it. Alright. Let's take a break. Alright, let me get a little, another before shot. So that way you guys can see the after once it's all cleaned out. Not sure how long it's going to take us. My husband is home. So now we have a little bit more help. So we can get this done in no time between the four of us. I started yesterday around here. You can see it's weed free. Still got to tackle all of this. And what makes it hard is that we got these dewberries. And they are very spiny and thorny. And they're like starting to pop out everywhere. So like when you go and grab a fistful of weeds, you get poked from that. So we have to be careful and we put on gloves, even though the thorns go right through the gloves too. So we kind of have to like maneuver around all of that, but we're going to get this done as fast as possible and figure out what I want to plant in here. Definitely want to utilize the space for something, but I'm not going to plant anything today. We're just going to get it cleaned out for sure today. So here is the before and we will show you the after. All right. We are pretty much done. There's some fine little weeds that we still got to pull out. Is that focusing? But that's how it looks now with the majority of the weeds out. This garden, just the usual. Um, we have rosemary, this oregano plant, I swear, will never die. We got some papayas, whatever that is growing inside the compost bin. A couple pineapples scattered everywhere. Uh, looks like sunflowers or you know what that might be um, I think they're called sun chokes I planted a while ago not sure milkweed some random carrots that I had sprinkled and that's pretty much it for this garden there's a couple tarragon plants and chive plants that have stuck through through the years turmeric these were cabbages but it is the middle of summer those aren't gonna do anything but they're there. They're still somehow still holding on through the summertime. And then we've tried to trim down the dewberries as much as possible. 
because they were starting to take over. So we kind of chopped them off and tossed them over there. We're gonna try to keep them from not coming and taking over the whole garden. So not sure what we're planting in here yet. I'm thinking, I gotta look up to see what's good to plant in the middle of the heat like this because I was thinking cucumbers, but I'm not sure if those will do good with this heat and there's almost no shade here until the afternoon. So maybe another type of pumpkin and that could take over this whole garden. That might be a good one. I could plant just a couple and let it take over or I'll just, I'll do some research and see what seeds we have right now and just utilize this space for something instead of it just sitting um, doing nothing. I'll let you guys know what I end up planting in that garden and I'll give you guys a little update on that. As usual, I gave our ram a pile of weeds that he's almost done picking through. And then our pigs over here are enjoying a nice big old pile of weeds and grasses that we pulled out of the garden. We always do that. We always feed what we pick out of the garden to them so that it doesn't go to waste. So that is it for that. I'm not going to plant anything right now and I think just the act of pulling all those big weeds and then now the the sun and the heat burning down on whatever little weeds that are left that will kill off that unless it rains then that'll keep it alive but hopefully the last little remnants of the weeds get burned off by the heat of the sun are you guys tired yes. it's hot out here our little potted garden those are Thai chilies. Yeah. We've got some Thai chilies, jalapenos, mostly all spicy peppers here. Mm -hmm. Maybe washed up. Got some really long, I think those are the first ones. The first long yard beans from our trellis. The plants have been doing great, but I haven't seen a lot of actual beans. Those are the, there's a couple here. Those are the first two that have grown. See any more over here? No, I don't see any more. But the plants are doing really good. Our banana tree, not sure what happened. It gave up at exactly eight little bananas. I guess it didn't have good pollination. So we're letting those probably ripen on the tree or get close to ripening. And then it has two other pups, uh, three pups growing off of it. So. We might leave one of those and then transplant the others. Well guys, that completes our work for today. Um, we are going to go ahead and put this fencing up for the sheep tomorrow because the sheep are perfectly content back there right now and my husband is actually off of work tomorrow. Um, so we're just going to take advantage of the day tomorrow to get that put up and cut the grass and do some other um, things that we have to do around here done but we got the garden cleaned up we got the sheep fence moved and we do still have to build something for the pig still got to figure that out maybe we'll do that tomorrow as well that shouldn't be anything too difficult to do so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one once again and thank you for all who have subscribed and continue to support and watch our channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.